Good day and welcome to Mission Control Houston where uh, systems operators are uh, battening down all of their systems following uh, an exciting morning of uh, release of the Dragon capsule from the International Space Station and supporting the rest of the activities for the Expedition 31 crew on orbit aboard the International Space Station, Commander Oleg Kononenko and his fellow Russians, Gennady Padalka and Sergei Revan, along with Americans Don Pettit, Joe Acaba, and uh, European Space Agency astronaut Andrei Kuipers from the Netherlands, uh, winding up a fairly early day for them. They woke up at 11 p.m. Central Time instead of the usual uh, 1 a.m., and uh, will be going to bed about 2.30 a.m. after a busy day of operations with the departure of the Dragon spacecraft. Uh, Kuipers and Akaba used Canadarm2 to demate SpaceX uh, Dragon cargo vehicle uh, from its uh, Earth-facing port on the Harmony module at uh, 3.07 a.m. East Central Time today. Uh, here's a replay video of that. Uh, and then a little bit later, uh, Akaba and uh, Don Pettit uh, released the spacecraft uh, at 4.49 a.m. Central Time as it two vehicles passed over the southern ocean southeast of Africa. Following that, the uh, SpaceX team in Hawthorne, California executed uh, two small and one large thruster burn to maneuver Dragon away from the vicinity of the space station. It was a start of about five hours of uh, deorbiting operations. Uh, team right now is in the process of securing the spacecraft for its re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere. Durbert Burns scheduled for uh, 9.51 a.m. Central Time uh, with splashdown about 470 miles uh, west of the Baja coast of California scheduled for approximately 10.44 a.m. Central Time. Here at Mission Control, the team is being led right now by uh, Tony Sakachi, the flight director, with uh, Hal Getzelman talking to the crew on board the space station. Uh, sitting with Tony Sakachi is offgoing flight director Holly Ridings, the lead flight director for uh, the SpaceX Dragon mission to the International Space Station. As she signed off for the morning, she uh, gave a hearty congratulations to her entire team that had worked through this long process of supporting the first commercial spacecraft to rendezvous and dock with the International Space Station. The uh, Dragon spacecraft uh, uh, spent a total of five days, 16 hours, and five minutes birth to the International Space Station and is bringing home uh, a set of cargo that includes uh, uh, items that will be refurbished for potential reuse aboard the space station, uh, some experiment samples of alloys that solidified in microgravity, and some other uh, unneeded equipment from the space station at a test of its capability to return cargo to Earth, uh, a major feature of the Dragon spacecraft. Today, the crew also will work with a variety of other activities. The Russian crew members have uh, spent a lot of their morning replacing uh, smoke detectors. Uh, nine of the ten that are planned to be replaced in the Russian segment of the station have been replaced. One more is scheduled to be replaced tomorrow. And they'll be doing some uh, work with uh, human research facility experiments looking at uh, how diet affects uh, astronauts at, during long duration periods in orbit with uh, Joe Acaba getting ready to do his first set of uh, blood draws and urine collections in association uh, with those experiments uh, coming up tomorrow. Otherwise, everything working very smoothly on board the International Space Station. Crew right now in its midday meal scheduled to pick up and uh, do some remaining exercise and facility maintenance work on the station the rest of their day.